God's promise to Abraham. Genesis chapter 15. God spoke to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your very great reward. Abraham protested, Sovereign Lord, you have not given me any children, and the person who will inherit all I have is my servant, Eliezer of Damascus. Eliezer, not inherit, but a son of yours will. God replied, God took Abraham to look at the night sky. Look up at the sky and count the stars if indeed you can count them. Your offspring will be as numerous as the stars. Abraham believed what God told him. God declared, I am the Lord who brought you out of the earth of the Chaldeans to give you this land. Sovereign Lord, how can I know that I will gain this land? Abraham asked. God told him to bring a heifer, a goat, and a ram, each three years old, along with a dove and a young pigeon. Abraham obeyed and sacrificed the animals, cutting all but the birds in half. He laid their carcasses arranged in the halves opposite each other. Birds of prey came down, but Abraham drove them away. As the sun set, Abraham fell into deep sleep, and a dreadful darkness came over him. God warned that Abraham's descendants would be mistreated as slaves in a strange country for 400 years. The God explained he would will punish the nation that made them slaves and deliver them. They would leave that land with great possessions to live in the land God has promised. God promised Abraham he would live in peace to an old age. When the sun had set, a smoky firepot with a blazing torch appeared and passed between the carcasses. Abraham laid on the ground. God promised Abraham to give his descendants the land from the wadi of Egypt to the river of Euphrates. However, Abraham and his wife Sarai became older and older without having a family of their own. The son God promised did not arrive and Sarai became too old to have children. Would God keep his promise? Would Abraham have descendants?